Greetings guys, this is Dokraft and today I'm going to show you how quickly you can get a new record of kills. Previously my record um, has been 8 kills and in this very short and quick replay I can show you that you can get a new record of kills so quickly and you wouldn't even know that it is happening. Well, I'm driving the Cromwell B on the Tundra map. It is a really high percentage of wind chance so that means... I need to get stuck in because my team is very likely to do well as well so I need to go in a bit yeah without the punishment so I'm going to go to the hill of the tundra map put a shot into the leopard I get onto the hill he stays back there and I immediately try to engage him again because he's just an easy target at this moment so I'm just going to engage him put a shot into him Tried to put another one in, but it was a really steep angle, so it didn't go got in. Got a Yak Panzer 4 here. Tier 6 tank destroyer. Put a shot into him. Oh god, there's a Crusader as well. I put a shot into him. And he drives forward. The Yak Panzer is on very low health, so I'm going to kill him now. First kill, secured. Leper is on low health, going to kill him. And the Crusader is on 200 health, so I'm going to kill him as well. No problem at all. Oh my god, what a rampage. One minute and 30 seconds into the game, I've got three kills and 1,000 damage already. And now we can immediately try to engage this T-14 here. I've got a side armor. The KV-1 is aiming at me and I can see that so I can put three shots into him. And now I can see that he's aiming at me and I pull back and I narrowly avoid the KV-1S. Who I saw was aiming at me. I thought it was a KV-1 but it was the KV-1S. Don't want to engage those guys again because there's all, they are all pre-aimed for me. So I'm going to engage another target that most likely hasn't seen me yet. So this Hellcat is a perfect target for me. Let's just try to engage him and find the angle. Oh, he's on low health. I can take the kill. No problem at all. Four kills. Oh, and there's a T-3485. Let's try to take him out. There we go. And five kills. 1700 damage. KV-1S is back there. Just see if we can make a shot happen here, but it doesn't look like it. I cannot hit him. Okay, heads are there. Oh, fine shot. No problem. I'll take the top gun, I guess. <laughs> oh my god. Two minutes and 40 seconds into the game, and I have already got a top gun medal and 1900 damage. If the game would have ended here, this would have been a great game for a tier 6 tank so far. So now I can see another opportunity, there's a T25-2 and a KV-85 below me, so I'm just thinking, screw it, I've got a lot of health remaining, let's push my luck, let's just go in. Kill the T25-2 on the move, KV-85, I've got his flank, shot goes into his trick, doesn't matter, I've got a second one, and I take the kill. 8 kills, 2000 damage, and there's still 3 enemy tanks left, so okay, let's just go. KV-1S first. Hopefully he doesn't see me coming. That would be even better. Give you one as kills uh, someone. So I know that he's reloading for at least the next 10 seconds. Put a shot in. But it doesn't go through. Another one. Also doesn't go through. And that is because I was out aiming. But I really had to focus on my driving there. Didn't want to uh, take a shot for no reason. But now I'm putting good shots into him. And I'm pulling back behind this stone. So that he cannot hit me. Waiting for my LS to uh, help me out there. But there's the SU-100Y right in the open. Let's put some shots into this guy. He's a really dangerous tank for a tier 6. Another one into him. Maybe another one. Yes, there we go. And I don't get the kill on this one. And the KP-1S is also dead. So now we only have to kill the T-150 if we manage to get the kill. But what a game so far. Oh, he's on low health. Let's see if I can sneak in the kill here. Can I sneak it in? There we go. I snuck in the kill there. What a great game for the Cromwell B. And this has been absolute rampage of a game. The Cromwell B um, is a really good tank, of course. It is an even better Cromwell. And there was no doubt, of course, that this was a really strong matchup for this tank. Anyway, now you can see how quickly you can get a new kills record. And um, I had to say... Let's take a look at the post-game stats of this game. So guys, as you can see in this game, I got a Ace Tanker on the Cromwell B. I got a Reaper token, a Fire for Effect token. I think that is a tank yeah, kind of sniper token. The same one that we saw 
in the replay of yesterday and I still don't know what it is. And then another one who I can't seem to remember. The Duelist token and the Bruiser, uh, Bruiser token. Um, we got a Redley Walters medal for killing 9 tanks. Top gun medal for t killing 6 tanks. And a high caliber medal. So guys, as we can see, I finished on top of my team and on top of the enemy team, of course, by experience and damage done, getting the most kills on my team. And uh, in total, I got 1,488 base experience, which is a really healthy amount for a tier 6 tank. Also doing a grand total of 2,678 damage, a really, really good damage total for a tier 6 tank. In this game I fired 29 shots of which 28 hit and 24 penetrated doing the total of 2678 damage. Um, hits received 8, penetrations 8. Most of the shots that I received were from the Leopard that we engaged in the beginning of the game. But as the Leopard has a small auto cannon, the shells that hit me didn't do a lot of damage. In total I destroyed... 9 of the 12 vehicles that I engaged in this entire game and I only had to travel 1.3 kilometers to do so. In this game I also got a 40,000 credits profit because this of course is a premium tank and the ammunition on the Cromwell B is not expensive at all and the repair cost of my vehicle is not expensive at all. So guys this was the video I hope you liked to see this replay of me playing the Cromwell B. I was happy to pick up my ace tanker because it could be really hard to pick up your ace tanker in this tank because it gets played really well by most of the players that have bought this tank. I am also really happy to break my new kills record because yeah it only is one kill more but nine kills is a really big number. Anyway guys hope you liked this short video and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.